Hey guys, White Ops here with a review of the M66 pistol in the game Crossfire. First of all, it feels fucking awesome to be doing this again, and I hope everybody had a good Christmas and everything. Hope you got what you wanted and uh, stuff like that. And to all of the people saying I swear too much in my previous reviews, I've taken the liberty of expanding my profanity vocabulary, you pieces of mother- What? I can't say that? Haha, <laughs> you guys know I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm just kidding. The power of the M66 is really good. Consider it a smaller version of the Anaconda, except with a considerably faster firing rate. The damage is really heavy at medium and close ranges, dealing between 40 and 60 damage to the chest at medium and close range. And it's a uh, one-shot headshot at both ranges. When you start getting too far back, you'll start noticing a drastic decrease in the gun's performance, as it is meant to kill in CQC, so it'll start doing a lot more, or a lot less damage, sorry, when you start getting too far back, and you're, you're not exactly supposed to be picking people off with the M66 across the map anyway, like, one person that probably does, I don't even know how he does it, he's supposed to be blind. The accuracy of the M66 is a little bit more off than other sidearms, as with a regular pistol you can just kinda like, whip that shit out and stop boosting camps all over, kill a whole bunch of people, front on your shit, get your KD up, everybody's happy. But with the M66 you kinda have to take your time, because just like, busting caps makes the caps go all over. In other words, it's just a little inaccurate, and by a little I mean a lot, a lot inaccurate. A lot of inaccurates and this, this, this. But when you're crouching and you actually take your time with your shots, it's good. The reload rate of this gun is 1.835 seconds. And if you a hater, I got proof. With clock noises. Proof is always better with clock noises. So, yeah, as the black bar of time is clearly showing us, it is 1.835 seconds. So you have just about enough time to realize that you don't have any time at all, and you should be good to hop back into the virtual fight of 12-year-old guys dressed as women. Crossfire just got a whole lot creepier. The firing rate and weight of the M66. When you respawn, you have 6 out of 30 ammo, but depending on how much you like to use your sidearm, for me personally, I like to use it quite often, the ammo goes quickly and usually you can only get 4, maybe 5 kills before running out of ammo with the M66. However, on the bright side, the gun is quite light and allows you to run quickly with it. I'd personally be pretty disappointed if a sidearm were heavy though. That'd kinda suck. The model on the M66 is nice. It has that cool revolver look, and I just kind of enjoy looking at it. The skin isn't flashy or anything, it's just kind of natural I guess you could say. And it's sometimes a good thing not to go overboard with uh, logos and add-ons and stuff like that. And with the M66, it works nicely. The advantages to the M66. The power at close range is a definite upside. Two-shot kills are always nice, and if you can land the shots, you'll get frags indefinitely. The accuracy while crouching is another upside in my opinion. Sure, the accuracy isn't great while you're jumping around and stuff. However, if you have the time to crouch down and aim, you won't miss very much. And if you do probably in the wrong genre. Might want to try Maple Story or something like that. <laughs> uh, yeah. The reload rate is just another upside for me. I mean, it's faster than most pistols, which is just another edge against your enemy in most pistols only matches. Maybe not in like a normal TD match, but you know, fuck you, it's still an upside. The disadvantages to the M66. The accuracy will run and gunning, like I said, it's nice when you have the time to like crouch and stuff, but usually you don't, and when you can't, it's quite inaccurate, and that can lead to multiple deaths if you're playing against someone who knows what they're doing. The ammo duration is another downside. Not being able to stay in the fight long with this pistol is kind of like a spark for great frustration, I guess you could say. I've talked to many people and they've said that not being able to stay in one spot or fight for very long is kind of like a downside to it and playing with the gun kind of made me agree with that. On the same kind of note, another downside is the fact that the M66 is only really effective when you're against one or two people. It's not meant to take on a whole team and when people group up on you or you're used to rushing it can screw you up and it's just another spark for frustration like I said. The FSR rating of the M66 is 3 out of 5. If you're the type of player who's usually in small scrims or public matches and like to stay relatively close to the other team's base, you'll like this gun a lot. If you're more large room based, it's just aiming your sights on another pistol that'll be able to assist your needs better. <laughs> your your special needs. <laughs>
guys. I'm not fun. Anyways, thanks for watching, you guys. Leave your reasons for liking or disliking the Ruger Mini 14 for a chance to be in the next review. Our next review will be out next week, so stay tuned for that. And remember to subscribe, comment, and like this video. And, and remember that for every dislike, a 10-year-old finds free VIP hacks to your favorite game.